In today's short episode of Stepmom Wisdom Circle, we'll talk about how to shift our mindset from focusing on what we don't like or have no control over to honing in to what works and supports us. In finding peace and fulfillment in our role as a stepmom, regardless of societal expectation. Let's get started, shall we? Welcome to the Stepmom Wisdom Circle, a place where we discuss, discover, and explore the complex world of being a stepmom. I'm your host, Claudia Chenever, the Stepmom Coach, bringing you over three decades of stepmom experience and professional coaching wisdom. I'm the author of the Stepmom's Book of Boundaries, how and where to draw the line for a happier and healthier step family, as well as a host, producer, and presenter of the annual Ultimate Step Family Summit. As a fellow stepmom, I understand the joys, challenges, and moments of grace that come with this role. In this short stepmom wisdom circle, I'm going back to my archives, where over the years, I've interviewed and spoken to some amazing stepmom experts, sharing some nuggets of wisdom to inspire, motivate, and elevate you on your journey. So let's get started. Hi, and welcome to this short stepmom wisdom circle tip. In this snippet of conversation with Brenda Oaken, we talked about the powerful influence of being a role model and how to feel appreciated and recognized for her efforts. If you don't know about Brenda and her work, here's a brief intro into what she does. Brenda Oaken is the founder and publisher of Stepmom Magazine, the how-to guide for any woman who dates, lives with, or is married to someone who has kids. There's a link in the show notes to learn more about Brenda and the magazine. So let's listen together. I love the the term being a role model for the kids. So often I hear women who are really caught up with the term stepmom, stepmother. They don't like the name. They don't like the word. And they feel very shortchanged because they feel like they've done a lot of the mom type things in this child's life. And really, if we can just let go of all of that and just focus on the examples that we're setting and stop worrying so much about the semantics of it and not worry so much about about. It's a hard thing not to be recognized, but stepmoms really do seek recognition for what they're doing. And what I've always said is that recognition needs to come from your partner. And if it's not, then there's a problem with your relationship. Don't expect it from the kids. Certainly don't expect it from the kid's mom because that's really tough. That's a lot to ask of her. But you should definitely be getting that recognition from your partner. And in doing that, then you'll be confident and secure and at ease enough to be able to just continue in that role model mode, which is really the best possible way a stepmom can feel is just secure in her role and knowing that she is doing something good. She's getting credit for it from her husband. And, you know, the rest of the world, the rest of the stereotypes, just ignore them and and don't let that guide your actions. Because really, at the end of the day, what matters is what kind of a person you were, how your stepkids view you, and how you conducted yourself in some really challenging situations. You know, grace under pressure is one of my favorite expressions. It's really hard to do, but it's what's required of stepmomming a lot. And, you know, there's just, there's so, so much to consider, isn't there, Claudette? Thanks, Brenda, for sharing with us your wisdom on what to focus on. And like Brenda mentioned, we need our partners to start recognizing the challenges we face. They may not understand what we're going through, but it's nice to have them on our side. Life is a lot more manageable when we have our partners on our team. And you know what? Your actions, your responses, and your grace under pressure are observed by your stepchildren. In the end, that's what matters the most. Not the labels, not the stereotypes, but how you navigate through the challenging situations that stepmotherhood often presents. I hope our conversation has sparked some new perspectives and provided you with some comfort, understanding, and the reassurance 
that you're not alone on this journey. And remember, it's not about the labels or the stereotypes. It's about the meaningful relationships you build, the strength you display during challenges, and the positive influences you can have on your stepchildren's life. That's where your true impact lies. If you found this episode helpful, please share it with other stepmoms who might be in need of some encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. If you have a moment, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Your feedback helps us reach more people and create content that serves you better. And if you're looking for further support and guidance, I encourage you to check out my book, The Stepmom's Book of Boundaries, available in paperback, ebook, or audio format. It's a comprehensive guide designed to help you navigate the complex dynamics of step family life. Lastly, I'd love to hear from you. What topics would you like us to cover in the future? What challenges are you facing as a stepmom? You can reach out to us through our website or in our social media. The links are in the show notes. And thank you for tuning in to Stepmom Wisdom Circle. Remember, you are valued, you are seen, and you're doing a wonderful job. So until next time, keep shining your light and setting a positive example. Take care.